This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex, and this is The Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight, right here in the United States of America. Hi, how are you, everybody? How are you? How are you? How are you? I, uh, Hi, yeah, Alex. Yeah, I haven't got you on yet. Just oh. shut up. Just shut up. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, um, you know, always before I just go on the air, there's always some problem. All of a sudden, my email didn't want to come through, Okay. And so I'm button, just working as fast as I can to get my email working, and I finally got it working. So let's yeah. let's hear it for me. That guy who's trying to interrupt me is uh, this guy here. Let me see here. Are you there? Yes, I am here. Okay, much to the chagrin of a lot of people. Yeah, well, you know, I I offer them someone to hate, but. Uh, I, this week, I haven't been feeling all that well. Really? And, uh, you know, uh, last night I got home. Uh, mm -hmm. I had I was a little congested. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my nose was a little runny. Yeah. Uh, today, I was better, but uh, it, it's I'm still congested, and I'm, I still feel uh, constipated. Constipated? <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I th and I think also my... Um, That's a great way to start off the show, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, uh, I think my hernia is come to the point where I'm going to have to be operated on. Now it's hernias and constipation. Yeah. Well, yeah what maybe nice, one has what, something to do with the other. What a nice combination of a, a, a situations there. Let me yeah, just put well, your I'm, name I'm in. in. I'm in better shape than uh, Rupert Murdoch. How's that for... Uh, uh, but uh, let, let's uh, let's talk about a couple of things first. One is, did you get your report back from the uh, oncologist? Well, a week ago, I went and had my blood drawn, and I'm sure you heard the adventures of me getting my blood drawn. Yeah, I, the adventures, no, but I know that you got it drawn, and they, they hadn't no, given no, you results. No, they gave me three, they put the needle in three times here, here. And if you turn off the lights, you can actually see it's still kind of there a little bit. See yeah, it? See that's it? see that that's because uh, they yeah. they knew you. And then it didn't work <laughs> there, so they did it there. Now this is a place called the Cancer and Blood Specialists, and you would Except think they're phlebotomists. Well, you would think they would know how to draw blood. You know, I the doctor was very nice. I had a nice time with the doctor. He was. Uh, interesting and fun and you know yeah I, I find the doctors get it the first time the phlebotomists sometimes take a few but my veins roll and they're not very i thought you asked vein. me how i was doing well i wouldn't make a good junkie that's that's for sure anyway well i you I'll don't give care you, a, a, you don't care a, no of course not I'll, I'll give you a little bit of advice i ask for a butterfly and i tell them to do it in my hand and uh, when they do that, I, I usually get it the first time. So uh, so now that you've been poked and prodded, you have any results? That was last Friday, which is almost a week ago, right? Yeah. I haven't got any results yet. I haven't. I they I I, I they sent it over to uh, Quest. Mm -hmm. You know, Quest Labs. The lab. And uh, Quest Labs did the, the stuff, the work on it. And they said, uh, when we get uh, results, we'll, uh, we'll uh, let you know. And they let me know on a couple of results, some urine results that I got. And uh, some kind of weird thing. I don't know what it was. But it was okay. Mm -hmm. And then there are no more. No more. No more results to the test. And I haven't heard from the doctor. And I'm assuming that, you know, I don't know, maybe they lost my blood or something. It's exactly what I was thinking. Really? That they lost the sample. Really? And Yeah, why don't you call them and ask them if you need to go down and <laughs> get it again? But don't you think they would have gotten a hold of me and said, you know, 
uh, well, if they didn't have a sample to test, maybe they didn't know they were testing it. They, I'm sure they got all the samples. I'm yeah. sure. All right. I'm hoping, hopefully they got all the samples, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, if they didn't, um, the hell with them. I mean, I just, I, but I, have, I haven't heard from the doctor, and I, and it never, it doesn't, if I go over to Quest, there are not any more blood things there. Hmm. So I don't know, you know, and I don't care. I really don't care. I, uh, uh, all I know is, you remember about a year ago, I, uh, not a year ago, but, well, about a half a year ago. When they didn't get back to you and said they didn't need to see you? They didn't need to see me. Yeah, because, right. and th these were cancer and blood specialists as well yeah. over at Mount Sinai, and they looked at all my workups, and they just said, uh, we don't see any, possi any, any sign that you might have cancer, so we can't see you. So right. I'm assuming that it would probably come out the same way this way. I, I have no idea. Uh, you know, uh, this is really poor bedside manner mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to leave somebody thinking one thing or another and not give well, them a definitive I mean, you answer. Know, I, I worry about it, you know. And I, I, you everybody know. should worry. But uh, you know, I, 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 I wrote to my uh, urologist because I sent him the urology stuff just so he could see it. And he said, uh -huh. no, no problem, don't worry about it, you know. Uh, and um, then I wrote him again, and I said, "Do you know who these guys are? You know, have you do do you know who they are, and do they have a good reputation? What's your take on them?" And he wrote me back, and he said, "This doctor is a really great guy." He said, and a lot of his patients go to him. So yeah, didn't he uh, study under Mangala? No, but so I I trust my urologist implicitly. He's just yeah. a really decent guy. I mean, I write him on his day off, and he gets back to me within an hour. You know. Yeah. So I Can mean, he bill for that? Huh? Can he bill for that? I hope he does. I really, <laughs> no, really, I hope he does because he makes so little money seeing me once a year now that uh, you know, I mean, the most money he ever made out of me was for the for the biopsy i guess you know yeah and i just i would like he's he said come back in a year and i was i was about ready to say why don't you have me come back in like two uh, uh, six months so you can get a little more money you do know? you think that the insurance companies don't approve uh you know uh visits within a certain period no, of time no 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 because no. i was seeing him every six months then i saw him every eight at nine months and now yeah. because there was no you know psa you know, it's see yeah. me next year. We'll make yeah. sure you're still okay. So I don't know what the story is with this, and I don't really care. You know, well, uh, you know. I, I I hope you get resolution quickly. The doctor said at the time that he didn't think that I was in any real serious had any real serious problem, but that you know we never know until we check all the blood. And I figure, well, you know, here's what was supposed to happen. See. My, uh, my neurologist gave me a blood test that I never asked for. He told yeah. me he wanted to have draw blood to get a certain test, which I okayed, but he never told me about this other test. So this other test comes through and it's got a, one bad element in it. So he panics and sends me to the blood doctor. Now that's only because the neurologist doesn't know a fucking thing about blood, all right? So he just wants the other guy to say, hey, no problem. Well, I go in after they draw the blood and everything, and he says, I said, well, what about the thing my doctor sent? And he said, ah, that's no problem. Well, that's all I, we needed to know. Yeah. H have you noticed that this doctor doesn't have any mirrors in his office and only sees you at night? What's that about? I, what, well, what's the, the joke doctor, there? You know, he's a vampire. Oh, oh he's a vampire. Okay. And, and that's why the blood is vanishing. And, 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 because he, and he doesn't have any mirrors. I get it. Okay, I get yeah. it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, you had mentioned that uh, you were curious as to uh, how I felt about the Rupert Murdoch thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I sort of feel ripped off. But on the other hand, uh, I feel like I should have expected this. And the only positive thing that I could say is that they at least admitted that they're not a news organization and that they're in it for the well, eyeballs. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He admitted under oath that he right. was not a, uh, they were not in the news business. And he, I don't think he said that. 
Well, yeah. they're not, you know, and I would imagine. Well, the name of have... his company is News Corp, isn't it? Hey, you know, the name of my company don't try to Don't carpet, try, but don't I try to make an excuse. Floors. The fact is that they pass themselves off as a news organization. People right. like you went to them to get what they considered to be real, an honest, honest uh, news. An, an honest news that I wasn't getting elsewhere. And isn't it odd that the company that kept yelling fake news about all the other outfits turned out to be fake news? Well, the thing is, the other outfits are full of fake news, too. Well, I, I don't know that they're full of fake news. I think their news is biased. Now, but for think instance, about this. Well, wait, wait, for for yeah. instance, if they know, if they suddenly found out that Donald Trump uh, did get ripped off, that there were problems with the uh, counting and all of that, mm -hmm. they would report it. But, you know, yeah, but they let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Is this not a big item, the fact that, that Murdoch admitted that these people were faking the news? Okay? Is this, yes and is, no. Is it, not, is it not big news? Every other network, no matter who, whether it was CNN, whether it was, it was everybody, I think including Newsmax, were talking about it. Fox well, I, never, never during this whole thing yeah. talked about it once. Yeah, well, I can see that they were manipulating their public hmm. just like the rest of these non-news stations that claim to be news are mm -hmm. actually manipulating their public, mm -hmm. whether it's MSNBC or uh, any any of these other uh, outlets. They're they're really uh, doing nothing but trying to sell a product and getting eyeballs in front of their uh, in front of their uh, people. You mm -hmm. know, I so what what it happened is is yes, I am disappointed that something I believe to be the truth mm -hmm. uh, was nothing more than a manipulation in order to get money to uh, uh, sell ads. Right. And uh, on the other hand, I'm saying to myself, well, I can't believe any of these uh, things. You know, I, I look at Adam Schiff. Uh, when he read the do uh, Trump dossier, uh, Steele dossier, into uh, the congressional record, then we find out that the Steele dossier was fake, and uh, uh, even no, the, there's you know, still the guy some, that there's wrote still it. some question about that. There is yeah, still well, some question. Yeah, well, maybe the P stuff was uh, real. Uh, no, but, you know, the, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you you heard that on Fox. Yeah, because you wouldn't hear it anywhere else. But I saw it on television. I saw the man yeah. reading it into the congressional record. Well, something he, that maybe, many of them he, knew were false. No, he maybe didn't know it was false. He fi figured it was legitimate, and he read it into the uh, record. I think he wanted to believe it was legitimate, and uh, but I, I I'm seeing that we as the people are being duped by a lot of uh, this this kind of online uh, cable uh, news and uh, you know I'm, I'm pretty much done with them uh, where where are you gonna get your news the Christian Science Monitor I mean you know how do you you know where do you get it I where do you know well, that it's real well, I mean Walter Cron Cronkite is dead yeah. uh, you know it, it, he was a guy that my parents said you could believe yeah and uh, and uh, you know, who do you who do you believe now? Well, you know, I wanted to believe uh, the people at Fox, just like Charlie wants to believe the people at MSNBC or whatever. Well, I don't think I'll tell thing you something. Uh, I got to tell you this. I, I would say, uh, and Charlie's here. I could go to him right now and find out uh -huh. if he agrees with this premise. But we'll talk to him later. Uh -huh. That I think I think Charlie even agrees with me that he doesn't believe everything he sees on MSNBC. Because I, I think that uh, if, you know, it's funny that we're the ones, the left, we're always kind of yelling and screaming conspiracy and you can't believe anybody and whatever. And it was the right who was saying, oh, no, you have to believe everything. These people are wonderful. And um, we did are that. You for, we did that for years, and then all of a sudden, it's kind of changed now. And Change, the, right. it's, the yeah, that's... it's the paranoid right as opposed to the paranoid left. Well, you know? you know, we've been 
we as people on the right have been told that we're being manipulated by the left, that the, that the left is, uh, is, is holding our information back, that they're banning us on different platforms, and that mm -hmm. uh, we're not being given mm -hmm. uh, the ability to air uh, our thoughts. But again, our thoughts are sort of being manipulated by uh, whether it's Fox News or, or, yeah. or other outlets. By the way, Charlie yeah. just wrote me. He's waiting yeah. online here, too. I don't want to believe MSNBC. I don't like MSNBC. Well, I don't know. You know, I don't listen to any of those well, I think I think things. anybody uh, anybody who really wants the news doesn't consider MSNBC any more reliable than Fox right. in their but own way. You, Right. Yeah. Now, I know that you liked Al Jazeera and BBC. No, and I didn't a, like a few I, other I, things. I, I, uh, no, I, I liked Al Jazeera at one point because I found them interesting to watch. It's just what the other side is seeing us as, okay? BBC mm -hmm. I like because of that exact reason, that when they report an American news item, they have no dog in the game. So they, they're very happy to, to say what they think is actually the news, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, but uh, I mean, uh, th the fact is that uh, that you had people like uh, like Hannity lying, and you know the one person that was never brought up as being a liar, Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson, which is kind of amazing to me. Um, yet I, I think he's got his own problems. Yeah, uh, I believe didn't they, did they get rid of Lou Dobbs over at the uh, Fox? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, in the light uh, of yeah, all Lou Dobbs yeah. did not like Trump. No, it, no, it wasn't that at all. That he was considered one of uh, the liars. Oh well, there was a financial guy uh, that was on Fox that didn't like Trump, and I used to watch him on like yeah, Sundays. But Lou Dobbs, Lou Dobbs was very much right wing, very much conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy. Yeah. And when all this stuff started to happen with Dominion, I think they got rid of him. If I'm not mistaken, but I, I heard that today on some level. I don't know if it's well, right or you know, not. I, I, I but read but that, also, you know, I felt that he would be one of the first to go. But you know who's going to be one of the first to go? Yeah, this guy, Vit Vitris, or? Uh, no, no, the, uh, this, I can't remember. Oh, her name. Laura, Laura Ingram? No, 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 no. It's the head of Fox News, a woman. Oh, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah she's they say blonde. she, you know, because... What happens is if you're Rupert Murdoch, you always find a scapegoat. Right. You know, and she will be the scapegoat. She better be, she better start packing her, you know, getting that yeah, big box off, filled off with, with the head. stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but she'll probably wind up somewhere else, uh, you know, or with a big golden parachute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, my, my feeling on this is it, it's, a, it's a wake up call that we as Americans have to ask ourselves, these people are trying to manipulate us, and we're yeah, being Phil, manipulated Phil, all Phil, over. Phil, you were manipulated to the max. No, not, not necessarily, well, you know, because no, not, I still believe... Not. I think anybody who listens to this program and any, anybody who calls this program would agree that you were manipulated by Fox. No, well, I got uh, information from Fox, just like other people get no, information from get other sources. You got the and, information you wanted to hear. Yeah, and, and, believe. and the stuff on Fox is not the information that you or many others wanted to hear. Well, it, I didn't want to so, hear. I don't want to hear what MSNBC has to say. Right. Either. So the only difference between them and Fox is Fox admitted it, whether it was under oath or not. They they let the cat out let of the give, bag. Let me give you an example of how news is so screwed today. Um, this trial down in South Carolina. of uh, Guilty. Yeah. Uh, Murtog, I think is his name. Yeah, Murdoch or Murdoch. Mur Murtog, I think. Murtog, it, I, yeah. I never could figure out exactly. Is he one of the A-team? No, no. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, that story. For mm -hmm. days they were running the trial. They were running him giving testimony. This is on MSNBC. Fox was doing it. CNN mm -hmm. was doing it. Now let's be honest about it. This is just another murder case. I mean, you want to talk about a murder case? There was one last week where you had a black kid and his mother were murdered in their home. And since then, you've never heard anything about it. 
this is a high profile guy. Why he he is not he in his own area he's a high profile guy. Right. But really this is just a looky loo situation. I mean it's it wasn't I mean, do, do you really think it was worthy of the kind of time no, they spent it's, on it's, it? No, but it's a Geraldo moment. It's a Judge Pirro well, moment. Well, no, but uh, Judge Pirro, by the way, is another one that's up for yeah. grabs over at uh, over at uh, uh, Fox. But anyway, I, I just, you know, I mean, I, 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 and I love, here's what I consider non-news, okay? And this mm -hmm. went on for about four nights in a row because there was always one or another of these things happening. And, and like NBC, Nightly News, would report it. A jet, ready to take off, started taking off and had to abort taking off, narrowly missing another plane. Now, what's wrong with that? Well, there, a mistake happened. No, but uh, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. Yeah. They didn't crash. It's not a story. Well, it is a story. These if, things if go you have on a near miss. These near things, misses are stories. These things go on all the time, Phil. They go on yeah. all the time. You wouldn't. You'd be surprised at how many times they go on at airports. And like three days in a row, they found another story about two planes that almost almost crashed into each other. Listen, let me know when they've crashed. That's a news story. Well, I, you know, I I um, I want to know when pl planes have a near miss. Well, but is that how there was no accident? If anything, let why don't we say instead of uh, they had a near miss, uh, uh, they they just uh, didn't have they didn't crash. You know, they averted it. Okay, that's good news. But no, but they good say news no, doesn't they sell. They don't say they averted a crash. They say they <laughs> almost crashed. Yeah, there's a big difference there. I don't but the see good the news. But. The good news is they averted it. And they avert yeah. these crashes all the time. A plane takes off, another one's coming in, another one's trying to take off, and they say, hey, by the way, but just put the brakes on, can't uh, let you go across the so tarmac. does the guy in the tower end up getting fired uh, because it was a near miss, or does he end no, up getting he was, praised he was, because no. he averted a crash? He was the one that yelled and screamed at them, stop, you know, so he's not at yeah. fault for anything. But all I'm saying is, that's a good example of non-news stories that, hey, uh, uh, the, this guy almost blew up a plane. Well, yeah. But he didn't blow it up. Let me know when he blows up the plane. That's news. <laughs> you know? You're only happy when the blood flows no, but, in the streets. But, but it, that's not news when they say, you know. Yeah, you almost. Know, almost. Almost. Yeah. Maybe it's a slow news day. You know, Next it's, time it's, it's a the, plane crashes, they'll lead with that story. It's the old saying of close but no cigar. You know? Yeah, really. I mean, you know, I mean. But, you I, know, people are afraid of flying, and they're afraid of things like that. And I think that that also gins up, you know, any any of this kind of well, stuff gins up they're not afraid the of flying because they're crowding those planes out, you know. Yeah. I mean, well, if you're not afraid of flying, you're going to get in a fight when you are flying. I won't even fly anymore. You know why I won't fly? Cause, not because I'm afraid. Yeah. But because it's really kind of ridiculous, you know? Yeah. And you're tall enough that you can't fit in the seat. Right. But you I mean, I mean, I just I it t flying used to be a pleasure and now it is just agony. I mean, yeah. you're cramped into seats that they've made shorter they've made the space shorter so they can fit maybe one more row in on every yeah. plane and then you get uh, treated terribly you know yeah. and uh it's just it, it's just forget it i i had you figured I would out rather that you have, walk to san francisco yeah. have you figured out that you have enough miles that if you bought the ticket and used a few thousand for an upgrade that you could fly first class everywhere for the rest of your life well i don't want to use it uh, do that Oh, you know. Uh, yeah, I I only want uh, to get maximum benefit out of the miles. Yeah. Right now, I think I got about two hundred twenty thousand. I got about on, I got something like two hundred fifty thousand, something like that. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, so uh, you know, in flying fact, sucks. In fact, I have so many flyer miles that I stopped using my frequent flyer mile card to buy stuff with. And I'm now using my American Express because when I buy stuff on, say, Amazon, cash I, back. I get uh, no, I don't get cash back, but I can apply it to the. I get certain bonus for every time I spend money. 
I see. So, so I'm, I'd rather do that because I'm not planning on traveling too much soon, you know. Yeah. Although Marjorie really wants to go on a vacation, and I would like to go on a vacation. I'll get, the, I'll get this whole cancer watch thing out of the way. Yeah. You know, I know it's going to happen. The guy's going to look at it, and he said, well, there's some problems. Your platelets are low. we got to do something about that here. Uh, uh, come on down. We'll give you a B12 you have shot. Iron, poor blood. You know, something like that. And is then, your dog getting enough cheese? And then, you know, th th this is a little high, this is a little low, but it's not enough that it's it's uh, worrisome, but we should keep an eye on it. Come back and see me in six months. That's yeah. It used to be come back and see me in a year, but now right. it's come back and see me in six months. Uh, you know, one place that I haven't visited yet that I would like to go to is Iceland. Why? Uh, is there a reason for that? It's just, it's beautiful. Uh, and, you know, from a photographer's point of view, it, it'd, be a, it'd be a nice vacation. It's, it, there isn't a high population there. It's mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's, it's a beautiful spot, you know? And I've been to all the places where you got famous buildings and terrorists mm -hmm. and things like that. Iceland might be a nice place yeah. to go if you're thinking about a vacation. Ah, hey, uh, interesting, uh, this guy Wayne uh, called. He's got a great voice. Does he? Hi, Wayne. You there? Wayne hasn't connected his audio yeah. yet. He's new at Zoom. Yeah. So I, I heard him. I think was it last night I, when I listened after the uh, competition. He's got a really good voice. And by the way, I got best in show and first place. We don't give a shit. <laughs> So just just to keep it on record, Bill, I don't listen to MSNBC either. Uh, you can you can always quote me as listening to CNN. Write that down. Oh, uh, well, I'll get I'll get the pen and paper. Well, you didn't me. get her, you didn't get it right on Charlie, so I just want to clarify. Uh, <laughs> Charlie's an intelligent guy, you know. Uh, he he. You know, anybody can get uh, weighed, waylaid uh, by uh, these by you, uh, by the new, uh, these communication experts. There's Wayne. Wayne? Uh, he's muted. What? And he's got his. Uh, you got your audio on, Wayne. He's got the. Uh, oh, 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 really? Oh, 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 well, apparently it's not Wayne. Uh, this says yeah, let me... Uh, Max Viva God Video. Damn it. Uh, let me see here. What can I... That looks like it? Phil's ass. Go back to your uh, uh, without the panel. I'm without the panel. No, yeah. Oh, the, uh, oh, but it's showing up on Zoom. I see. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Isn't that wonderful? We, we love oh, watching this. Oh, by the way, by the way, to the person who's doing this, uh, you're not, hold on a second. Let me let me do something here. Oh, let me let me, I want to write something in here on his name. Rename. Oh, I see. Okay. That's sort of a butt plug. Rename. Um, uh, you're not on the air. Here we go. You're not a headline. Not. Oh, they hung up. Oh, well, it's too late now. So that's not the guy from last night. No, no that's not no. the guy from last night. This is Jeff Stein now. He's changed his name to Jeff Stein, uh, and I will he change tried his Bill name. Bill Meyer last night. Did you hear that part? Yeah. Uh, Fuck off. Yeah. All this. Fuck. Oh. He tried Phil Meyer. He tried Jeff Stein while Jeff was already on. <laughs> Who, you, did you write that? Yes. He changed <laughs> his cute. name to Fuck Off. And uh, you know, I mean, I can. They, they, I, I, they, I, I'm getting a little tired of this, uh, and I blame, I blame, um, uh, Zoom, Zoom more than anybody else because they don't create some kind of situation where we can, you know, where I could like say block this guy's IP address, not yeah. his name, but his IP address. It says Wayne entered the waiting room. Good for you, Wayne. You're going to wait there forever. I heard you say something about having a special uh, uh, Zoom address for callers. And, you know, you could do that because... No, 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 no. I, I... You could give it to anyone you approve. Yeah, but that doesn't allow for new people to come in. That's no, the problem. No, but they just have to contact you uh, off, off air, prove mm -hmm. who they are, and then... Uh, 
you know, you look at their background okay. or okay. their Facebook. Let me let me keep. I forgot to chain go off of my face here, but let me. This says Tony. I'm wondering if it is Tony. Watch. <laughs> well, make them speak first before you put them on camera. That's all. Uh, okay. A ask them to ask to come on 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 the chat because then you know it's Tony. Tony, can you hear us? Tony. You see, Tony. What does your brother do? Hmm? No, it's not Tony then. It's not Tony. Tony. How old is your mother right now? <laughs> Remove. Yeah. Tony. Mm -hmm. Still audio connecting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When it stalls like that, it's. And here's somebody saying he's Edward Berger. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Edward Berger never calls. He never no. calls the night show. No, he doesn't. Let he me, only says two back. words. Let me go back here. Sorry for That's that, right. folks. We got it off pretty fast before it really started heavy. Uh, really? I, I don't know. This guy who's doing this must be gay or something because it's nothing but gay porn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at least if we're going to see something on this end, so to speak, uh, we'd like it to be uh, hetero because all our guys here, I believe, are hetero. Are you not? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Mm, uh, hell yeah. You know, uh, we're glad you're appealing to the gay audience. And what happened was that'll go, probably a little bit of it will go out. Um, and I'll probably get demonetized again tonight. But you know, the last time that I some poured and sneaked through on this program, I got the largest numbers I've gotten in years. Yeah. The next day, you know. But uh, these uh, people can sit there and this, just wait. This was my winning photo. You can't see the top of it, which is there. But it, it's I mean, not We porn. don't care, Phil. Yeah. We All really right. don't give a crap. Gonna bomb us, bomb us with something like that. Oh, listen, yeah. listen to the names here: <laughs> Wayne, Edward Berger, Tony, and Jeff Dahmer. Oh, Dahmer! Dahmer! Yeah. Oh, Dahmer. I let Dahmer on. Yeah, yeah Dahmer but he's on. dead, isn't he? Huh? Yes, yeah, he's, he's dead. dead. Yeah, I I died in prison. Shank. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, what's the name of the uh, woman that is the uh, head of Fox? I don't know. That's what we were uh, trying was, to find out. For it. Yeah. Well, turn off your uh, volume when you try and ask uh, Suri a question. No, I didn't ask her a question. I was asking you guys. Uh, but, uh, wow. Why would I care? Yeah. It Rupert was a Murdoch's conversation. Wife. It was, well, you don't care about anything except yourself. But uh, it was a conversation that we were having earlier. I know. We heard it. That's why you'd care. Alex, I think it's time to get somebody else other than Phil in. Yeah, probably. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah. Oh, Scott. Her name is Scott. Last name Scott. Yeah. Now she's going to call in now that you said that. Yeah. She's going to photobomb us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got to figure out what to do about this because uh, I'm getting a little tired of it. I mean, I, I have a solution you to it. You can't preview it? I, I don't know. No. 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 Oh. It causes a lot more work than I think he wants to do. You yeah. know, if he has to go to his screen and then have bring it in, then he finds out it's bullshit. Then See, he last has to. Night, last night you did something. I, I I I watched the show later. I wasn't able to make it, but you just put your picture, Alex, and the rest of us weren't on, or I wasn't on. Anyway. That's what he did. That's what he did. Yeah. Right. And then you... But the, tonight I didn't. I was stupid. I thought it was actually Wayne from last night, and I right. uh, I let it come go through. But how about a, normally, how about normally if I see a name that I'm like just when I showed Tony a few minutes ago, yeah. and I uh, didn't think that you know I didn't know whether it was Tony or not, I I put my face on. Okay. How about you know our voice? How about you ask people when they call in to say hello to you? I don't think he can stop the camera. No. And then and then add, add the video in when you're pretty sure it's the right person. Now, T Tony, if Tony tries to call, hmm, how will I know it's Tony? Well, I'll just write him and ask. Oh, you him. know why? And well, I know why. Because Tony puts in his last name. Yes. Sometimes. Yeah. Yes. So No. Uh, yeah. And they, these people obviously don't know Tony's last name. They'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. Tony Smith? Come on, folks. Donald Trump, give me a break. Oh, Donald. Ah, ah, That's ah. awesome. <laughs> Phil, your buddy. Yeah. 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 So, 
you know. I just wrote him and asked him if he just tried to call the show. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't. Uh, Wayne is a, the real Wayne is an interesting guy. Tell him you know, he's going to show you Monday night. night. Tell he's going to ping you with an answer he, every two. Every he, word will be a ping. Tell him if he does call the show. Write him a note. Tell him if he does I call the show. Put in his last name. That way, I'll be able to tell if it's. He him. said yes. He just tried to call. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Try again using your last name. Try um, again. Yeah. And your. Gonna come up as Ed Sullivan now. Last Cristiano name. Ronaldo. Yeah, he, right. he, he, yeah, that sounds like a. a he says, "I am not porn." <laughs> Charlie, that was probably oh, this, the guy. Okay. This is Tony's yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, in the chat room, probably, huh, Charlie? Okay, well, let's wait yeah, and see that, if he calls. That wasn't the real Wayne in the chat. Yeah, he was probably trying to. You know, get, I bet he takes Wayne's his, world. You know what? <laughs> Uh, uh, a, a, a lot of this. Uh, let's see here. Hold on a second. I want to make sure this is Tony. So let me uh, let me just turn my camera on here, and uh, let's see here. Let's go to let Tony in. Admit Tony. Okay. Let's see if Tony is. Uh, let's see here. Tony. Tony, are you there, Tony? See, uh, <coughs> connecting. He didn't use his last name. No, well, he didn't use his last name, did And he? I told him to. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have hit him. Yeah, here we go. He's, he's, uh, oh, yeah. That's a Tony. No. <laughs> Was that, no, that's Yeah, yeah it was no. a hand puppet. No. Because <laughs> I am not porn. Early, <laughs> that was probably this guy. Okay. This is Tony's yeah. Facebook. Yeah. No. Room, Tony, are you there? That's oh, that Tony. is Tony. Oh. Yeah, that's Tony. That, Tony, that is that you? Yeah, yeah, this okay. is not porn. Hold on, put my hands in there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second, Tony. I want oh. you to show the audience what you were doing. Let me just go to the panel now. Oh, yeah, no, that was puppet porn. Oh, he, he's fisting the puppet. That's puppet <laughs> porn. <laughs> I put it at the Jim Henson exhibit. Uh, it's just nice to know you can follow directions. Go right. here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> from Phil, he's not going to follow any directions. If Alex would ask him. Take his shit off. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't listen. Oh, he doesn't listen to you. Oh, Lord. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway. He found out you were on the dark side and changed back yeah. over. Now, Tony's wearing a wife beater t shirt. Where would he get that? My undershirt. Yeah, I'm lazy not, today. It's not a white beater t shirt. It's close no, enough. No, it's not. Oh. I saw somebody's nipple on the screen and I almost freaked out. I was like, oh, God. That, that was my picture from last night. Nipple. <laughs> Listen, if it were just nipples, that's. Uh, did that look like a nipple to you? It looked more no. like. I, know, I thought it was my uncle. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, my picture was a nipple. Mine wasn't. Mine looked like a couple guys' assholes turned inside out. Yeah. That was now, yours? let me ask that you this you? question, Phil. Phil. Yeah. Those pictures that you put in that won this week. Yeah. How old are they? Well, that one it was a while ago because I did it with a model. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, how long ago was that? 2013. Well, that's not fair. You I have, have 80,000 images or mm -hmm. maybe more. And so sometimes I have to scour through them. You know, since COVID, I hadn't gotten out and did street photography and and stuff like I used to. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow night, I'm uh, photographing a CrossFit uh, championship. Really? You know? Didn't you yeah. take a picture of that woman cheaper. at a homeless shelter? By the way, uh, you know what just happened to me? This was What's that? terrible. You know who uh, she see was? This? See this? I, yeah. I lost the cap. Well, then you better drink it all. To the, you know uh, who that woman was? She's the uh, spokesperson for Colorado Marijuana uh, in a, 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 a state initiative. And uh, she's the model for that. I like Alex's yeah. statement. We don't care. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we don't really care. Yes, but you'll be the first one to ask me for a copy of it. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll I'll give you one of my old photographs that I photographed like 
40 years ago. I have two of them. Uh, I got to get around the printing them. Well, what it, what happens is which <laughs> one do you which ones do you have? Uh, I got one, one near a bookcase by the swimming pool. I yep. think it's a bookcase in a window, and uh, the other one might be Ibiza mm -hmm. something. Okay, why don't you why don't you say those are yours, and then uh, no, no, put, I wouldn't uh, do that. And put them up and see how they do. Bill, well, I can I can it. I can enter them as you, you know, uh, Ben Schwarzman, and I'll say, hey, this this you know this guy wants to compete. Okay. But the, so, the thing in the window is very good. And what's the other yeah. one? Ibiza, what, the woman? Yeah, you could uh, yeah I think it was the woman, yeah. Yeah, you can put that one up, too. Yeah. 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 All Those right. are two good photographs. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I can, are they colored black to, and white? I, uh, in order to get them colored. to judge it, I might have to enter you as a, as a member. But that's okay. I'll pay the 30 bucks. Oh, good. That's yeah. awfully. I'm nice going to be deal. the member of a club I don't even belong to. Yeah, you. Right. <laughs> and if they knew who you were, they wouldn't want you. <laughs> Watch him take best of show. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, so what are we going to do about these people? What do you think we should do? Should I just stop the show altogether? The photo bombers? Yeah. Then they win. Zoom bombers. Yeah, yeah they win. I think that you ought to have a show for fo photo bombers. For Zoom bombers? Yeah. 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 Make it just, an all Republican show. I'm sure no, no, no. Just have a show and just let them all go to that, but you don't put it over the air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll let them think I'm on the air. I'll open up the Zoom, right? Yeah. You know, like I think maybe like on a Monday night at at, at ten thirty. I don't understand uh, why these people do this. What do they get out of it? Yeah, I don't understand. I, I, I think it's the same thing as people doing graffiti and 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 they they want to make their mark, graffiti even though their mark is, is, is nice. A lot of graffiti. Not yeah, if you have to clean it nice. off. I don't want to look at some asshole turned inside out. You know, I mean that was gross. Was that a hemorrhoid? Yeah, <laughs> that reminds me. You I recognize it, remember. huh? Okay. But anyhow, yeah, or something. I don't know. By the it way, was gross. by the way, somebody wrote me and said mentions alex check it out wtf mark Marin, episode 1136 around the 47 minute mark oh mark i'll have Marin. to go check that you know he was on this week he had uh i forgot where he was on he was on howard stern i think too i think he might have mentioned i don't know if he mentioned you alex. no 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 but I, I i i can play this again i mentioned i played no, i played this the other uh, night last night yeah you did you played it last yeah. night and this he is you, you, you won't be able to see it but this is a bill mars a little show which oh, is, yeah. which is called uh, um uh, yeah I club, sort of know club, who he club is. random and his guest was uh, I have to get the names. Uh, his name it was the guy again. from Fox. Yeah, Greg, uh, Greg, your friend, Greg, you Greg Gutfeld. Yes. And uh, this he's is very, the, he's has the highest rated show on Fox right this now. This is very, 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 very quick, folks. But uh, you'll see it here. Oh wait a minute! I just put it up and it didn't go. Oh well. Okay. Well, I forget it. I don't need that. Okay. All right. What well, now? You put it up last night. And now I can't go back to that. Jeez almighty, give me a break. What is wrong? All of a sudden, this thing went bad on me. Okay, there we go. There we are. Anyway, I, I thought I, maybe I didn't have it anymore in my, uh, in my thing. I didn't put it, I took it out, so, eh. I went, to, I went last night, I watched your show after I got home. Nothing's working tonight, by the way, in case you notice, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Zoom bombers are working. I wasn't, yeah, no kidding. I wasn't able to see to listen to Jack's show. Has it been posted from last night? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, I usually get on GabNet and go to Jack's show and click on it, and it came up with the error message, and I read it. I don't again. know. I, I maybe I didn't do it right or something. Let me see here. Let me. I'll, I'll do it. See if that's your problem. So many times it's Alan your problem. probably didn't pay his his, his Skype bill. Not Skype. It's on. No. It's oh, on you're Skype right. Now. You're right. You're right. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Let me see here. Let me. Uh, let pretty me good see. show last night. A lot of people showed up. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Oh wait a minute. That if any of these me. Zoom bombers want to bomb anything, Jack would be will, will be willing to take you. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. 
I got it. Because go nobody can see anything on Jack's show. No, because it's just a radio show. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Now you'll be able to get it. It's uploading into there. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you know, um, I mm. you know I'm I. I, I can't listen to his show at times because he's so wrong about so many things about uh, movies and so on that, that it, I just sit here wanting to call him desperately and tell him that he's wrong, and uh, it, never, it never happens. Oh, let me see here. Now that's not What do you think? He's Fox News? Hmm? Hmm? I said, what do you think, that he's Fox News? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Why isn't that working? They're going to change the name to Fox Entertainment. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't know. They need to do what Trump wanted to do, which was put in Section 230. I, I, I can it. hear it. I just mm -hmm. muted I muted this show and went to that, and it, it's, it's, no, really? it works. It's not working. It, it, this was not, uh, this was not, it's it's not working. Hmm? Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Maybe if I if I if I do this, reload. Okay, there we go. Now let me try it. No, it still doesn't work. Well, I don't know. They need to do what Trump wants to do. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, well. Somebody's got his audio on. Who who's got his audio on? Turn it off. Turn it off. Anyway, that's you, Alan. Get rid of that. Get rid of I was that. listening to Jack's show and had this page muted. Sorry, that was my bad. Yeah, well, I don't do. let it happen again. I won't. It was kind of cute because while you were sitting there, you were frozen and talking to me. Mm -hmm. That was neat, Phil. How do you do that? Uh, yeah. How uh, do you freeze your pitch? Talent. It's raw talent. <laughs> well, I don't know why. I just fixed it and it should be fixed. But, it started uh, to play the intro. I just didn't listen to anything more of it just now. Maybe I didn't take it from the other side. No, I don't know why that's, I don't know what the problem is. Oh, well, what was the date yesterday? The second? Yeah. First. Yeah. The first. I, didn't post, I, I didn't post it in there. I'll do it after the show. Tonight, All right. So that you can hear last night's show. Um, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I have so many problems with him that I have to deal with after the show that sometimes I forget to do something. One of the things I forgot to do was put the show online. So, you know, I mean, it, it, uh, it, it, I, I hope tonight he just gets it right and I don't have to deal with anything and I can just go through the process I normally go through to get things done. Right? We ought to start all praying right about now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should start praying. Um, no, he tries, you know. I mean, he, 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 but he doesn't realize how much I'm trying to help him, you know. He doesn't, I, I don't know, he says he does, but I don't know if he realizes that Charlie and myself and Amy and Mike and stuff get on the show. And like you said that one day, it's a time commitment and he has regulars, but. He's like, fuck it, I'm tired of this. Well, I'm I mean, I, I keep doing this. You know, I could stop doing this tomorrow and not miss it, okay? I'd find other things to do with my time in programming of some sort or another. But, hey, you guys enjoy doing it, and uh, I enjoy talking to you. And uh, so I, I do it for you, you know. I'm not doing it for the 10 people that watch this goddamn program. You yeah. you can photobomb CPAC or whatever it's called. But you can bet tonight I will get I will I, I will get uh, like for instance, last week, when we did uh, uh, when when we got bombed by these people, and there was for about I guess maybe five seconds there was a nice piece of porn going on there. Um, uh, I got uh, let me see here. It was the day that uh, that you were on I think. Uh, no, no, not the day he was on. Let me see here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the number? Where is it? So uh, Wayne wanted to come on while you were on Phil tonight, and I guess he probably got knocked off. That yeah, was, sound like a that nice was, guy. He's got a great voice. Wayne, if you want to come back on, use your last name, okay? Because they don't know your last name. Uh, he actually, yeah, I think he actually used his last name last night on Jack's show he does 
too. Maybe yeah, not. but that whoever's doing the photo bombing, the Zoom bombing doesn't watch Jack show. Yeah. How unfortunate. And this Brian, guy, do you know Wayne Carini? Yeah. The, well, these guys are also getting the names from the chat. Right? Yeah. You know, so that's that's part of it. And Nobody's picking my name. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't. There may be a reason. <laughs> don't feel, don't feel too left out, you know. This, you want to hear something funny? What? My sister just messaged me. The the guy got guilty in the case yeah. of the murder. Yeah. No, yeah. really? I got something really? Just listen, now? Listen to God. this, Alex. What does it say when they ask O.J. Simpson, "What do you think of the case?" You know what he said? What? I think it's more than likely that he did it. Yes, but I bet you he gets off. Nope. <laughs> O.J. was wrong. <laughs> Well, listen, oh. I'm going to read something to you. Hold on going. a second. I got to go find it. You talk among yourselves. Uh, <laughs> here. Uh, okay. right there. That's here. dangerous. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, Phil, are you still I, constipated? Um, what? Asked, uh, you were saying you were constipated. What, a, a, yeah. what is it called? Uh, chat uh, GDP or whatever? Yeah, right. GDP. The AI thing. Yeah. Phil Sebo has returned. Hey, it has. You know the the thing about Are you chat listening GBT? to me? Are you listening to me? Can I talk? Yeah, the, uh, Alex. Okay. Chat GBT is being used at um, yeah, but, uh, but at you Walmart. See, he still doesn't want to let me talk. <laughs> um, you bring up a subject. I'm. I know. A, well, I'm about to go into something, but you aren't sticking around long holy. enough to know it. Here comes Wayne. There he yeah, is. Okay, that's the real guy. Yeah, that's real Wayne. Last That's night, real Wayne. last night the problem Wayne's world. With, with Wayne. Oh, wait a minute, let me do something here first. Uh, first, to put the camera on because what the guy did, you know, uh, was he? Um, are you there, Wayne? Yeah. Hello. Can okay. you hear me? Okay. Good. Yes. Because what they did when they put up Wayne last time, they put your picture. They first put your time. video first, and then they started running the porn. Yeah, I saw that here. Yeah, yeah. So, I would sue them. Anyway, are you talent. are you through, Phil, with all the wonderful stuff you have to tell us? Of course. About Walmart I'll, I'll, using AI. You'll get my bill in the morning. Anyway, uh, and this is going to be recorded by our, our friend out in out at uh, KQED in San Francisco as a spot. Um, but uh, I thought that uh, maybe you'd like to hear a spot. That uh, Chat AI or Chat uh, ADP is it called? What is it? Whatever. GDP. Uh, GDP. GDP. GD oh, I found, I found my my uh, GH. Found the, the I, top I of my uh, bottle. Anyway, yeah. Okay. Here's a one minute. I used to write me a one minute spot about the Alex Bennett ramble. Okay. Are you tired of boring talk shows, the same old topics and guests? Well, then it's time to tune into Alex Bennett's Ramble. Join Alex and his cast of colorful characters as they explore a wide a range of topics from current events to pop culture and personal anecdotes. With over 50 years of experience in radio and broadcasting, Alex knows how to keep his audience engaged and entertained. But Ramble isn't just about entertainment, it's also about community. Alex and his listeners have built a tight-knit community over the years with regular callers and guests who add their own unique perspectives to the show. So why tune in to Alex Bennett's Ramble? Simple, because it's the most entertaining and engaging talk show on the airwaves. You'll laugh, you'll learn, and you'll feel like you're part of something bigger than yourself. Tune in to Alex Bennett's Ramble today and join the community of listeners who can't get enough of this one-of-a-kind show. <laughs> How much did you have to pay for that? <laughs> free, yeah. yeah. It's free. It stole it from Rob. <laughs> Very cool. I'm sure they got most of it off the internet. Um, uh, not bad. No, I thought, that's not, good. Not bad. I, in fact, good. here's what I did. I, I had it write it, and then I printed it up, and then I went into Marjorie, and I said... I'm re writing some new promos for the show. What do you think of this one? And she read it, and she said, gee, that's really good. And I said, I didn't write it. AI did. Do and you think that copywriters uh, have to look for other jobs now? Well, there's a radio, the radio people do, because there is a new organization called Radio AI that you can buy, 
uh, for your local radio station, and it will supply you with all AI hosts uh, who tell things like local news items of your local vicinity and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that there's no need for me anymore. There's no need for anybody in radio any longer. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of these stations that carry music can just have AI running the music on their particular station. That's but, right. Uh, and then I asked it to write an ode to Alex Bennett. <laughs> oh, Alex, how we adore your wit, your charm, your voice galore. For years we've tuned into your show and laughed and learned, don't you know? Your ramble is a thing of beauty with guests and callers. It's quite a duty, but you handle it with grace and ease and make it all look like a breeze. Your decades in broadcasting shine. Your expertise is truly divine. And we're so grateful for all you bring to the world of talk, world of talk radio. You're the king. From politics to pop culture to life, you cover it all with humor and strife. I don't know what that means. And you can't imagine our days without the joy you bring without a doubt. So here's to you, Alex Bennett, our hero. You've made us laugh and think it's a zero. Some game? Because you always win our hearts and minds, we're all in. Are you sure that's not your eulogy at your funeral? Uh, well, I was going to ask if you've asked it to do a, 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 a what, what do they call it, a obituary. That's what and, it sounded like. And uh, But I think these two pieces were very well written. And yeah. are you changing your mind, Alex, about this? Well, uh, I will tell TV you thing? that I've even seen that this AI program has actually improved in the last couple of weeks. Hmm. Uh, I think they keep working on the algorithms and, and so on. I don't know where it gets the information. I asked it to write something about Marjorie Miller, but it couldn't because it has no information on her, you know. Uh, and I was thinking of seeing if it could write a spot for Jack Bishop. Uh, you know, but well, well you know, I'll, I'm going to try that tomorrow. To see if I can get it. It'll right. probably ask who, who, <laughs> who. Yeah, he had a storied career. Yes, he does. Yeah, he definitely does. Yeah. Well, I mean, there, uh, there is probably. Uh, I don't say this, putting down Jack, but you can. It, it, this can probably write more stuff about me. Than it can about Jack. You because... were broadcast. He wasn't. Huh? No, he, he was broadcast. Well, not 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 video. Alex had a lot of video no, stuff. No, no, no. I was both. Basically, I was all all radio. Yeah, really? Well, I, yeah, I, I did. I mean, I did some TV. I did some TV stuff that I did that won me Emmys, but it, it wasn't my prime profession. No. But what I'm saying is, for instance, I was in New York. There's a lot more. If you're in New York, there's a lot more information on you than there is if you're in, in Dallas, Texas. Uh, it's just the way of things. You were Captain UHF on Channel 20. That's all you really needed. But, but yeah, that was my biggest credit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, all I'm saying is, is that, that uh, I ha there's a lot of material out there on me. A lot of articles that have been written uh, and so forth. So that if the AI has to go out and find the information, it's there to be found. I, you know. so when I was in San Francisco, I saw pictures of you all over the place. I didn't see any of Jack. <laughs> he wasn't in San Francisco. Yeah, he was in Dallas. He was in Dallas. But yeah, now, I, why don't you ask it to write an article on someone else and see what it can do? Like yeah. Phil Meyer, for instance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Input. All it says is, I have a two-faced oh. friend. His name is Alan. Okay, so we go to, let me see here. What is it? Uh, uh, chat G D GPT. That's it. G GPT, by the way. Okay. What's that sa stand for? Look it up. It stands for something. I looked it up the other day. I can't remember. Let yeah, I've been see. having a problem like that lately? Yes. Wait until you get to my age, you get yeah, real forgetful. Okay, so what, what do you want me to do? How about a uh, write a commercial for Carpet One? Okay. Yeah. Tired of the old ordinary rugs? Come to Carpet One. Come yeah. beat your carpet to death. Come to Carpet One. 
You could spill it. It might not be able to. Okay. Oh, I bet it is. Carpet yeah, ones. No, uh, they're they're a premier um, carpet company uh, in this okay. country. Okay, let me let me let me bring up the uh, let me bring up my. Uh, uh, which, which one of these? At the end, they'll probably say, "Don't go to Carpet One and Concord." But other than that, <laughs> Carpet One's got a good name. Let me see here. Where where do I go? I where, uh, well, they let me in. I don't know where I put up. Uh... I see ads for them on on TV sometimes. Hmm, yeah. well, let me see here if I can bring it up here. My mother had a shaggy okay. rug in the living room, and they gave here. her a rake with it. I remember that she used to rake it. Rake. That was the, the SWAT rug. you. That, okay, you know, so, it was like a thick shaggy rug in the back in the seventies. She had a rake for it. I remember you, and she had a carpet sweeper. I remember you. Most did. people used vacuums, Tony. And she had uh, she had that, vacuum that didn't. They were too thick. Carpet I know. Oh, here I remember the days of raking raking. Okay, let, let me. I'm gonna push. Uh, she, I'm gonna push. Sure I'm gonna push start here. Let's Maybe see here. Quiet. I have it, and let's see if it comes up. Are you looking for worn out floors that detect? <laughs> the, the, excuse me. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Well, we'll we're almost see. It's writing it. If you if you're looking at it, folks, it's writing the commercial. Oh, did you put it up? Yeah. Uh, let me look. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't put it up. Oh, oh, you can see it there. I'll read it to you, folks. Are you looking for at worn out floors that detract from the beauty of your home? <laughs> look no further than Carpet One. Carpet One offers a wide range of high quality flooring options, including luxurious carpets, hardwoods, laminates, vinyl, and tile. With over a thousand stores worldwide, we have the expertise and experience to help you find the perfect flooring solution for your home. Our knowledgeable staff is dedicated to providing excellent customer service and will guide you through the entire process. From selecting the right flooring to installation, plus our exclusive beautiful guarantee ensures that if you're not satisfied with your new flooring, we'll replace it for free. At Carpet One, we understand that your home is a reflection of your personal style. That's why we offer a wide variety of colors, textures, and patterns to choose from. Whether you're looking for something classic or contemporary, we have the perfect flooring to fit your unique taste. Invest in the beauty and comfort of your home with Carpet One. Visit one of our stores today and discover how we can help you transform your floors and enhance the overall look and feel of your home. I'm sold. I'll take three new floors and a new rug. Hey, just remember, it comes just before Carpet Two. Yeah, and I got to say something. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to send you the bill for that. Okay. So <laughs> thank you. My check will now, be in the mail. Let me ask, you, more I, let let me ask you, is that a fairly accurate commercial for your organization? Yeah. So. Yeah, it was a little too long, I but I yeah, it was it's it, yeah, it was very good. What Maybe I did, you what I, get I, them I, to write something new for you to get that little thing that you got in on your website. What little thing? You got you got a little thing that has you talking about uh, you know, Carpet One Concord on your on your website, right? Oh, a video, yeah. A video. Maybe you ought to get them to rewrite you a little video. Actually, if I told it, write a one-minute commercial. This would do it to the last one minute. Yes, uh, Brian wants to talk now. Oh, thank you. That. Thank you, Alex. Uh, give me the pleasure of uh, getting a word in today. So, um, yeah, but doesn't that sound like it can be any carpet place? Oh, of course. Oh. Of course. Sounds very generic. It is generic. I'll, I'll, I'll take your answer uh, offline. But, no, but, <laughs> uh, they mentioned some specific things like the beautiful guarantee. We have a guarantee that if you buy something and you don't like it, we'll replace it within 120 days. No is question. That, don't is, you think every carpet well, place has some kind of guarantee? Not like that. Uh, well, and, I'm and not we, saying like that. I said, is it, is it called they mentioned the guarantee? Yeah. Is it called the beautiful guarantee? Yeah. See? It went online somewhere, found Carpet, carpet One. Carpet One advertises all the time. It's it's a unique guarantee in that, you know, we, we don't need you to sell everything. us on it here on the show, Phil. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that, you know, what they picked up oh, there God, was accurate. Oh, we God, we, we put them into sell mode. Come yeah, on. it was accurate, that's all. <laughs> and, you know, why can't I just interrupt Brian, Brian once or twice, you know? I mean. Trump has a beautiful guarantee, too. Beautiful. Who? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Perfect. But anyway, so you know, I mean, that's that's the kind of thing it does, and it's uh, it it's it's. I could say it's scary, but it's not really. 
it's it you know i mean some people will use it as an aid okay yeah uh, and other people will you will hate it because they used to be copywriters in an ad agency isn't it know? a lot easier to edit than it is to write you know uh, i'd I, say I it's e it's it's equally hard to edit i mean once i'm through writing something and go back and edit it i got to rephrase things and so on yeah you know? It's but, difficult, uh, but it, it gives I always you a find basis. it's easier to let somebody else do the editing. Yeah, but you know That's when I saw got through school when I saw this radio station, that literally I, I listened to a sample of what they do, and the sample was scary. It was just scary. Mm. I mean, a uh, uh, man and a woman, two voices. They say it's a totally AI. So if it is t totally AI, now it says Jeff Stein entered the waiting room. Hmm. Uh, it's kind of so, late for Jeff yeah. to come on. Yeah. So they could do voice tracking with this uh, AI stuff for a radio, and yeah, uh, they could do. They all wouldn't of need. That. They wouldn't need anybody. Well, what it does is it plays songs. Uh, you know, maybe you have a certain format, so it plays to that format. And then it introduces the songs, and in between, it talks about uh, local items uh, in the in the news and things like that. You know, I mean, so, uh, if I, I I I wish I had it queued up here, I'd play it for you. Uh, well, you had mentioned that radio isn't local anymore, and that's why they lose a lot of their audience. Maybe this is a way of making radio local, but unfortunately, no, it doesn't make it any more local. You're not, you, you know, it's well, like you said they could bring up local stuff well because they go to a lo the local news and they say yeah. you know whatever but i don't know it's amazing. Well, at least we know they won't be going to fox news yeah so uh, wayne yeah. how are you doing tonight okay all right yeah i was sitting here just watching that other joker try and get in with my name and uh <laughs> even use a screenshot Bill. of me there so but yeah. i can't get into the chat that on the youtube chat it doesn't let me get in there it wants me to create a channel to be able to do that uh, create a channel yeah uh i've never done the youtube chat but no i, I it, it was it welcome to the chat remember to guard your privacy uh, usually you just have to create an account yeah wait a youtube account i don't remember having to yeah. do you just have to I sign didn't, i didn't create a, an account and if you want to guard your privacy get a vpn yeah. yeah, but I oh, mean, this is uh, I, the, uh, that's what it says the, on the thing. Yeah, I don't know. You just I, have to have a YouTube account or Google make account. Make sure you put your then social you security can, number in. Uh, make you know. comments on the chat. Okay, oh, I tried that. I got a YouTube account, but I had that before we started doing this. Right, you're yeah. on the page where the chat is, right? Through Google. Google owns YouTube, so. Yeah, yeah wait, wait a minute. There's a Wayne on this yeah. chat that says, okay, I'll wait. Sorry. Was that you? No, no, no that's, that's not me. So That's how do me. all these people get on here? Like the one who says he's Wayne. Can and you can you get Chat GBT to zap them? You know, uh, you know Wayne. That's not Wayne trying to get on the show. Would you hit him with a laser beam right now? <laughs> well, you know, yeah. I wish. I just wish that that Zoom would create a system whereby you can block these people. Based on their IP address. Now, or the people, the people that come on the show have to put a password in. Every time. They have to put in a password for themselves. No, I mean. Right, but that's what I'm saying, and that way you'll only get the no, people that I are don't, approved. No, I don't. Oh no, but no, I can't do that. Zoom would have to create that kind of right. system, that's and they what don't. I'm saying. And they don't. they don't. Yeah, I mean, what they should do is say, "Hey, you've got to sign up for Zoom to use Zoom." Anybody can use Zoom and not have to even be registered with Zoom to use it, you know. Uh, that's one way they could solve it, but the best way to solve it is that I could just have access to the IP address of these people, that I don't see a name block. here, I see IP addresses, and then I can go block. Yeah. You know. The trouble is with the VPN, you wouldn't know. With a VPN, um, yeah, yeah, so right, right now I they could hide their IP address. Right. Or, well, then right. if if somebody's hiding their IP address, and it says hiding IP address, doesn't say it. No, it'll give a phony IP address. Yeah. No, you know, it'll like give a Russia. real one, just not yours. So right right now I could log into the show from Denmark. Yeah. 
I can direct my VPN to Denmark and then log into the show like I normally do. And if you did a back background check to where, where I'm coming from, it would say Denmark. I've had a VPN for about five years. And you want to yeah. know something? You I never, never, use, I never use, use it. it. Never use it. Because it's slow. It's slow. Well, yeah. mine's not, actually. Mine, I, I have a real fast connection. It's like 800 gigabits per second, megabits I per have, second. I have 1,000, and it slows well, it down. It's but slow. but the, the VPN I have is, is rated at being very, and so mine, when I test it with speed test, when the VPN's on, mm -hmm. it, it slows which, it which, down which, to which about v, 500 megabits. Which VPN do you have? Nord, N-O-R-D. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's exactly the one that I have. Really? Yeah. Mine runs it like, you know, like instead of 800, it runs at 500, 550. I can check it right now. Yeah, but I'm that's still slower. It shouldn't slow yeah, down. It, you wouldn't notice a difference unless you I mean, why should speed. I go online all the time at a slower speed when I'm paying for a higher speed? Yeah. You know, when you, I had Nord for a, a while. I don't remember how long. And uh, maybe it was a three month. In case trial. people don't know what a VPN is, it's a private, uh, uh, virtual private network. Virtual it's private a network. And it, it basically what it does is it allows you to use another uh, uh, I, I, IP address, IP address. Uh, yeah, as your IP address, and you could then say, "I want one in London," right? So that if there are things like BBC that you can't get onto here, right, uh, I could get onto it there. And listen to shows and watch shows and things. I used like, to watch know. certain videos on YouTube, yeah, and now it's blocked in this country for whatever reason. So I direct the VPN out of the country to Canada or, or Denmark or something, and then come back and watch it. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, I I tried that. I brought up like red tube porn, and the only difference between being in Czechoslovakia or being in the United States. Was that the uh, commercials were different? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. But it was the, it was the same I stuff. I don't yeah. get on. I don't get on those porn sites, so I don't know. By the yeah. way, uh, Wayne, I got your email. Your emails here. About, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I it, thought that one of them. I thought I made a suggestion there. It might be a, a way around uh, the uh, bombers. What was that? I didn't read it. Uh, the second one I sent you. What is don't say? let is Bill on this show? Is no, that what, secret stuff? What did it say? I just um, that says for you to email me with a with a particular sign on name so that you know that that's me when I come in on it. No, oh, that's uh, that's a good idea. Hold on a second. Let me put you back. Let me put your uh, uh, your um, thing back in here so I have your email address. Uh, and we can uh, we can deal with it that way. That's a good way of doing it. Yeah, you know I should. Can you get tonight? Are you going to be on Jack's show, Wayne? I'll try. Okay, so if you get on Jack's show, there's a side chat that doesn't go out over the recording, and it do it doesn't show up in the in the video box. It would just be between you and me. You could send me your phone number, and if you're trying to get on, and don't I'm do it. Out, He'll give it to Tony. <laughs> no, no, no. Shut up, Bill. I'm trying to make it easy for him to get on. You can, you, I got, I got a lot of these people's numbers, uh, but unfortunately, I'll be deleting Phil's tonight. I'm, but you can give me your number, and you can send me a text, and I'll get it immediately, and I'll say the real Wayne, whatever your last name is, wants to get on, and that way Alex will know. How do you know they're not going to uh, zoom bomb you? Uh, your name. They haven't yet. I've been on the show almost every night. Although they picked you, you were an easy pick. You were an easy pick, but but we we knew that you wouldn't be calling because you were out beating up on poor old, old men people. who take <laughs> pictures with their Polaroids. Uh, yeah. And and uh, yeah, I won last night. Well, yeah, you know when you're when you're going up against a guy who, who shot with a Polaroid. No, I'm you know. telling you, I go up against some pretty stiff competition. And I won the national first place uh, again. Here we go again. We don't want to hear about it, Phil. Yeah. But he, I like the way you use the word stiff competition. Brian, <laughs> Brian. They're not dead yet. Brian, <laughs> do you care about his photographs? No. Uh, no, that would be a no, Alex. Big no? Big no on your part? Okay. Uh -huh. We have one person voting no. How about you, Tony? Would you be interested in hearing about his photographs? 
I know it's crazy, but I find him don't highly. You, uh, hey, Tony, Tony. Yes or no, Tony? I, I kind of. He's sure not really. To, uh, to, not hey, really. Behind, okay. All right. <laughs> wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Behind <laughs> Alan. Maybe. Just look behind Alan. <laughs> you see that uh, hanging on his thing? That's what? one of my photographs. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's, that, it's, it's a shark. A, it's a, 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 a oh, that's not a shark and, a, and, a, and a, a hammer shark and a diver in the water with it. I got to be good because I'm coming to visit, so I don't want them to throw me in a bag and him and Alan. <laughs> Actually, I've got some other shark pictures that Phil took in the water, and they're spectacular. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello. So, uh, um, let me see here. Um, I, I would vote for hearing about his, his thing. Kevin? Uh, Kevin? Only one of us. Do, Sorry, do you at Sorry. all care about hearing about Phil's photographs? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I sent you last night's winner. <laughs> do you care about hearing about his photographs? No. Okay. How about, Majority how, rules. How about you, Charlie? Uh, can I choose a subject? <laughs> no. Can I, can I get a word no, in it? No, you can't. Phil know about. What? You, you can't well, change the subject. So... so you know, people want to complain about everything in life. Yeah. There's this magazine and this guy, this guy wrote this article about your, your show, The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. They said that they're killing off all the gays, all the blacks, all the women. So they're comparing, you know, they start complaining about all this you stuff. You know something? Now, so people like, bitch too much, don't you think? I know. I can't believe that, and it's like I mean, yeah, what you, what you, what you, the, the you gay got... guy couples, you know, the whole episode, and they kill them off. And, but and but then... it's a very loving relationship between yeah. two gay guys and older gay guys, older gay yeah. guys. Okay. And, and then you know the the, the last one was that you know it, I don't want to spoil stuff, but don't you know, that, spoil it. It's, yeah, yeah I know. But, you know, it's just like that's what they're saying now. They're saying this show is bad because well, this one idiot man. I wish I could strangle that guy. But uh, yeah, so they're they're starting to complain about that. I'm like, come on, really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, th that's that's ridiculous, you know. Ryan, have you considered therapy? See, Phil, you don't know anything about the subject. That's why I brought it up. Uh, no, I I don't. But, but you, you know, know you're, 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 you a friend know. of mine wants to strangle people. I start Phil, to worry. Phil, can I talk? <laughs> well, can I... There's like three people in this panel. Hey, the thing with you, friend of yours. Can I talk to Brian a second? Do you mind, Phil? Sorry. Uh, yeah, a little bit, but go ahead. I give you permission. I'd rather have the Zoom bombers hit me right now than you. <laughs> I can fix you up. <laughs> uh, anyway, Brian, uh, uh, I I just think that that's ridiculous. You know, yeah. I mean uh, the the relationship between the two black people in a two uh, uh, brother and I think they were brothers. Yeah, brothers. Right. I'm trying to remember. Because the game, oh, I think it was slightly different. It may have been brothers. But yeah. anyway, it, but it was a very loving thing between them. And mm. and so when they, you know, when whatever happens, happens, you feel bad. And yeah. then uh, what was the other one? The woman? She gave herself selflessly to I save know. them. You know, I mean, just people lighten up people, you know. Do you have to bitch about everything because it isn't gay enough or it isn't sexist? It's yeah. too sexist or something? Yeah. Just enjoy it, you know? You know, it's like you said, it's all make-believe. It's somebody's story that they wanted to... It's almost like they want to tell the writer, well, you got to write it like this because we don't... If you don't like it, don't watch it. You know, you want to... Oh. You can criticize it, but it's like... They, I, they I, always have a bone to pick with something. Yeah, what? I, right? I watched the Ricky Gervais thing again. I love that one. The, you know, with the, the award ceremony that he started oh. up. And, mm -hmm. and he had a line in there about the memoriam. He said they won't be showing it tonight because it's not diverse enough. So they said, well, you know, so he said, I'm not going to be that guy. There's too many white people that died this, this year, this last year. So we're not going to do it. We'll have to see how next year goes to see if it's diverse enough to show. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I love that. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I, I watched that one again. He, it, it's so hysterical. And Not the one we were man. I think the cameraman was nervous because some of the shots that they do in between his jokes, you know, they're, they're trying to get people's like reaction. And then they finally like, like see Tom Hanks and some of these people that are just like a stone face. It's so funny. You know, Alex, can I ask you a question? When no. they tell the no. joke, no, like they make no. it oh, you can't. <laughs> 
I mean, Wayne hasn't said anything. Oh, yeah. Okay. Talk to us, Wayne. Uh, Talk about the pollution in Lake Erie. Yeah, well, that's what we're famous for. Uh, years ago, what the uh, Cuyahoga River, you know, they say it caught on fire. It, it, it did, but there was an area where a bunch of pollution had kind of gathered. Well, that's, that's, is that the river that goes through Chicago? Because no, I live Cleveland, through Cleveland. Cleveland. Through Cleveland. 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 Yeah. Hey, Wayne, yes. uh, you're in because, Ohio, right? Because I right. think. I th and Phil. Did, didn't they have the train derailment and all of those chemicals? Has that affected you? or No. Nah. No, it's it's. Uh, I'm in the Cleveland area. You have to go south of Youngstown to find that place. Bill it's it's, it's quite a ways there. away. It's good. To, uh, I'm not sure how many miles, but I know it's definitely southeast of where I'm at. How big is the window weed up there? I love it how how Phil wants to become the host of the show. <laughs> yeah. I just am curious. What is your problem? No, you, you're the kind of person that goes. Oh, uh, you were in England. Did you meet the Queen? <laughs> you know, oh, you're matter from, of you're, fact, you're from you're from New York. Do you know David Letterman? Matter of fact, <laughs> you know. Wayne was explaining something, Phil, and you just jumped. He was off. talking about pollution, and I had a question that no, he related to what he's talking about. He talking about fire on the river. And Alex mentioned. Something. I'm trying to think of some other river that also caught on fire, and I think it was in Chicago. That it really? caught on fire. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm unaware of that. But yeah, what I wanted to ask it. Phil, yeah. what I wanted to ask Phil is, uh, uh, did he have any problem with uh, all his uh, previous lenses that he had going on in the Z series? Ah, I'm glad you asked. Oh my God! Okay, oh, good night. No. Good night, everybody. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh my God! Sorry, I mean, no. No. This is an F2 Z uh, adapter. <laughs> and I'm Brian. able to use all my lenses Brian uh, with this adapter. Okay, and you can still focus at infinity, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Going to? Yeah, yeah, it's an FTZ2 Nikon adapter, and that adapts all my lenses. Okay. The other $49 question I, I, on Amazon. You can buy one, Wayne, for 49 bucks. On <laughs> 200 I don't think so. Yeah. And the other question is, do you have an ultra-wide zoom? And if you do, what, what is it? Which one is uh, it? I have a 14 2.8, and it's not a zoom. It's a rectified lens, and I have a 15 so rectum fisheye. Fi uh, rectum <laughs> what? Explain what a rectum fide lens A rectified lens gives you straight lines. Now, with That's digital, <laughs> you can use Lightroom, and you can straighten the lines out. So for architectural photos, buildings, things like that, uh, these wider lenses will cause uh, some uh, angle. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. or, or radius. So what this lens does, it's a rectified lens, so mm -hmm. it doesn't mm -hmm. shoot that. It gives you <gasps> cleaner shots. See, how much does, it get, does it get hemorrhoids as it's rectified? Only if it has to be touched by you. There you go. <laughs> now I was looking to get uh, either the uh, the Takina 11 to 16 f 2.8 or a Nikkor uh, 12 to 24 f4. Uh, I, I thought that was. Are... I thought that there was pronounced Nikkor. Uh, well, it depends on what part of the world you're from. Yeah. But uh, I can yeah, only you... say this about that. Oh, by the way, Tony yes. has something he wants to say. Yes, Tony. Can I ask a question? Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, let me answer the, the 14 Coco to 24 Christie thing. <laughs> do you, do, uh, it's it's going to be your least used lens for most people. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I don't know that I'd buy one. Okay. I, I have a, a 24 to 70, a, a 70 to 200, a 200 to, to 500, a 105, <laughs> uh, a 50, um, and uh, hey man, uh, I got the, an idea here. The wide ones. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Most people buy those yeah, and never use them. Okay. Yeah, most of mine are all uh, consumer uh, version, you know, not not the pro versions. So, oh, okay. uh, you know, I, I've got, I got the Nikkor uh, Micro 60 millimeter. I forget what the F okay. number is on that. Okay. And uh, I have the Sigma really 150 good. to 500. I haven't taken Bye. any pictures with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it, I mean, uh, I'll stop there. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But I was curious if you, if you actually had an ultra wide zoom. Soon. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Phil. Well, anything you want to say to everybody? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 
Anyway, thank you, Alan. I appreciate it. Charlie Wallace, love you. Uh, Brian Neary, think the world of you. Kevin? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, uh, and, of course, Tony, thank you for calling. And Wayne, uh, keep using that name, okay? Uh, okay. I'll, or I'll, I'll send you another name to use, okay? Okay. All right. Anyway, no, everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye Bye, at Phil. you, okay? Goodbye, so Phil. Long. Yeah, Bye. let Phil keep talking. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, I'm Alex. <laughs> this is this is amazing. My life gets more bizarre every moment. Um, anyway, uh, 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 Jack Bishop is next. He runs a really fun show, and none of this nonsense that we do here, where we can't even get it together. His show is well organized. Anyway, we'll see you again tomorrow night, right here. Uh, we're at GabNet. And it's the same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.